Welcome back to another video. I'm so smiley right now. College vlogs are back. If you haven't been keeping up with my last couple of videos, you should definitely watch those because I explain everything. But I had to do the first week of the semester from home. And over the weekend, I finally moved back to campus and I'm back. I'm back in action. Feels so good to be back in the dorm room. And this week is going to be all about getting back into a routine, getting readjusted, just getting back into the swing of things. I'm finally feeling better physically and we are almost almost there mentally we're almost there it makes me so happy that you guys missed the Harvard vlogs as much as I did so even though we're a week in let's unofficially start the second semester last semester I had a 9 a.m. class on Monday mornings which was a little painful but this semester luckily I don't start class until 10 30 and last semester four out of my five days I had 9 a.m. classes but this semester it's only two so Hopefully I get a little bit more sleep. If you know, you know, I'm gonna start my morning as always with my journals and then definitely gonna have to grab a coffee and I'll eventually make my way to the dining hall before class. I haven't been since I've been back, but that's only because we got two feet of snow this weekend. So I didn't really leave my room. The biggest difference between this semester and last is that while my classes are later this semester, they're also much more back to back. So like today, I don't start class until 1030, but then I'm in class until almost three-ish, I think. I wouldn't say it's better or worse. It's just different and it'll take some getting used to since I'm kind of used to bopping back and forth to my room in between classes. Gonna have to start packing like snacks and chargers and just think ahead a little bit more because I'm used to running out the door in the morning. like the stress of trying to find a classroom that you haven't been to yet and you know you're going to be late and it's the first class in person. First day back has definitely thrown me for quite a loop. I have not eaten since 9 a.m. It is now 3 p.m. I have the coffee shakes. I had so much class, so much more class than I thought I was going to and my Chinese class is such a hike away from where I live and where all of my other classes are and I haven't done that much walking since my surgery so today's just been a lot. I'm finally done with class for the day which is exciting and on my way back I picked up banh mi which is one of my favorite meals in the square. I got this like chicken and rice dish thing. It's incredible. I'm gonna check my Google Calendar because I feel like the minute I sit down and start enjoying this meal I'm gonna be missing something and that's the last thing that I want to do on my first day back. Okay perfect. I can actually enjoy my lunch. I don't think I've ever met someone who gets as hangry as I do. I actually become a different person. It's like those Snickers commercials. As you can see, I changed into some new attire because now that the second semester has started, all of the clubs here on campus are holding their second semester comp sessions, which are just basically opportunities to explore and join the different clubs that are offered here. And so there are a couple that I wanna join and I have my first round interview for one of the groups that I really love this afternoon. In classic Zoom meeting style, we got the nice stuff on top and then had to leave the sweatpants on. I'm gonna do some quick last minute prep before I hop on the Zoom call. We have a nice little sunset coming in which is perfect. I have my laptop and my laptop stand set up because I'm gonna do it from in here since my roommates are studying. There's me in the mirror. Wish me luck. I just got off. It went really well, I think. I definitely feel like it went well and I did as best as I can, so that's all that matters. And the way this club works, it was a written application and then a first round interview, and then hopefully I'll be offered a second round interview and then we'll see. 
I have a calc quiz and a Chinese quiz back to back tomorrow morning so I need to start prepping for those especially because I literally picked up my Chinese textbook today so I haven't looked at the vocab. May have a long day ahead of us but honestly that's okay. I love being busy right now because I was on bed rest for almost three weeks and all I did was lay around so any work is good work right now. I've missed my desk setup so much. I left my keyboard here over break as well as my laptop stand because I wasn't expecting to spend too much time at my desk at home, but this just makes me feel so productive. Simply the sound of this keyboard puts me in a productive mood. It's like I want to do work because I want to hear the sounds of the keyboard. Also, please let me know if you have any recommendations on how to figure out why your organization because this is clearly not it. All of you are very smart and always give great recommendations, so I'm wondering if anyone has any input. Right now I just have an extension cord laying here, but I'm sure there's some sort of little gimmicky thing that I can buy that can hold my chargers or I don't know, something. If anyone knows, let me know. I always clear my inboxes before I start a work session. So I just did that and now it's time to study. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this in a video, but it's this fun little study hack that I've been using since my freshman year of high school. I'm pretty sure I got it from Study Quill, who is one of the most famous study YouTubers. What I do is when I'm studying for a subject such as Chinese, which I'm doing right now, I'm just writing out a bunch of characters and I don't want to waste a ton of paper, which I'm going to have to end up recycling. So I take one of these little plastic organizer things and fill it with a plain piece of paper and then I can use it as a makeshift expo board. I use a little expo marker and then I can just erase it and it's perfect. Was today the absolute best first day back? No, but I'm definitely proud of today because I started the day hugely, hugely overwhelmed and I'm ending it very balanced and very grounded and no matter what I accomplished today, no matter who I saw, no matter what I did, that is the most important part, the fact that I was able to turn my day around. Part of getting out of a funk is quite literally throwing yourself into a routine, and that's what I did today, and it's definitely gonna take some adjusting, but we're doing it. How cozy does my bed look right now? I haven't had as much time to do pleasure reading in the last couple of days, so I'm still working through Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover, which I'm really, really loving. So hopefully I will have some time to get through a couple of pages before I fall asleep. Vibes are good, love you all the most, and I'll talk to you in the morning. Today is one of my 9 a.m. days, so I'm up a little bit earlier this morning, and my friend Nicole, who you all have met before, is also in this 9 a.m. class, so we're gonna go grab breakfast and catch up, and then we'll walk there together. I never know how to dress for my days when I'm at school. Like, obviously, it's Boston winter weather, so it is freezing out, and I have to wear a jacket when outside, but the minute I step into a building, I just feel like they crank up the heat, and I'm always so hot, so I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt. Layering is definitely in the move for that, but I don't have time to figure that out this morning. Let's go to breakfast. I'm so excited right now, I could actually start crying. I just received some of the best news I think I've ever gotten, and I'm like shaking. I don't know a ton about it, so I'm not super comfortable talking about it and explaining it in this video, but soon enough you will hear all about it and you will definitely get a video about it. I promise this isn't the classic YouTuber like I'm hiding a project or a brand deal or something. It actually has almost nothing to do with social media. It's much more of a kind of professional and academic opportunity that wasn't really on my radar at all and now it is. The only other scheduled thing on my calendar today is just therapy, which is always helpful full and then after that it's just work so I might head to a coffee shop or something staring out the window reaching for a north star waiting just to wake up from this nightmare where you could be right back in my arms dancing to the limbo 
I really wanted to get outside and just take a little walk, so I just went to Blue Bottle. There's nothing like an overpriced drink. I have such an aversion to hot coffee. I don't know why, but no matter what the weather is, I always drink iced coffee. But when I'm craving a hot drink, what I do is I get a hot chocolate with a shot of espresso in it, which I know is like very, very similar to a mocha, but for some reason I don't like a mocha, yet I like this drink. It's weird. Another day, another strawberry frosted donut. I got my coffee and my donut, of course, but I need to eat actual breakfast, so I'm gonna run over to the dining hall before class starts. I'm just really procrastinating leaving my room because I know that when I do, I'm not gonna be back for so long. Like, it's 10 a.m. right now, and I might not be back here until, like, 6 p.m., 7 p.m. As if the last two days were busy, I have so much to do today. It's cold outside. I'm gonna be running all over campus, so it's definitely a gray sweatpants type of day. Cheers, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Let's do the thing. Magical. Would you wow. look who it is? I didn't even know we were vlogging. <laughs> Showcase. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> Ooh, and we're back. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what are you doing? Show me what it's sounding. Campus OOTD. Campus OOTD. Get like your a, backpack on. I look like a rat today. No, no. Sure. No, no. no. Get your student. Get your student, remember? Barely. If you couldn't tell already, Lulu's here for the night. <laughs> I'm, I'm moving in. I'm moving in. I'm gonna take her to the student center. We both have a ton of work to do and she wanted to get out of her environment. And I've also been in my room for so many days. So I just need to get out of my environment even if it's another place on Harvard campus, so. Matt does live in a shoebox, So call yeah. it solitary confinement. We gotta get out of here. Um. 